Now, now we're recording. Yay, okay. Um, hello there. Welcome to our second stop on our Healthy Living Summer Online Tour with your host, me, Amy Beth, aka That Vegan Why, where we're going to be busting myths and speaking truth into, into the over-advertised, overdone, fad-centered health culture that's become a big thing nowadays. And we'll be bringing on special guests just like you with real experience on how they've attained a healthier life for themselves and their own families. So raise your hand if you're continually on the cycle of one of the following. Maybe you have seasonal allergies, yo-yo dieting, constipation, migraines, mental health issues, muscle and joint pain. Maybe you're battling stuff like flu, strep, and common colds every month. Maybe you even got skin issues. Well, I could have raised my hand to all of these things about three years ago because this was me. And if this is you, just let it be known that there are real, there are, <laughs> there are real solutions out there providing real hope for all of the illnesses that you may be facing. So just a little about, bit about me, your host, Amy Beth. Again, it, my name is Amy Beth. <laughs> I live in Denver, Colorado with my husband and two puppies. I'm a wife, a dog mom wellness coordinator, franchise owner, graphic artist, freelance photographer, and a weekly radio personality on LA Talk Radio where I share my passion of health and wellness through my love of eating plant-based food. And about three years ago, Brandon and I were on our own version of health, of our own health crisis because of our uneducated decisions when it became about when it came to lifestyle. So Brandon and I had month, monthly health episodes that put him out from his master's education and I was on a perpetual detrimental cycle with food, sickness, body pain, and even had a terrible body image. We both had been taught that calories in and calories out mindset, so we really never put it together that nutrition and disease go hand in hand. So sick and tired of being sick and tired and desperate just to feel better, a new friend of mine at the time introduced me to a clinical research behind powdered produce as well as the Shred 10 Lifestyle Program, which immediately became the catalyst for hope in Brandon and I's health. So we no longer suffer with allergies, constipation, migraines, and all of the like. And we haven't even bought over-the-counter allergy medication in almost three years. That's with changing climates from Louisiana to Denver, by the way, which is pretty exciting and real stuff. But this show is not about me today. It's about our special guest, who's also a wellness coordinator and self-proclaimed healthy guru. So a decorated and classy health advocate living in Houston, Texas, Melanie Halbert lives in the grind of the city where she's challenged to walk and talk in her own health. Formerly battling with severe eczema, especially on her hands, as well as other challenges she and her husband have faced with health, Melanie would have never imagined that she would be the one showing off work or showing off and working Kendra Scott jewelry. So that's a lot of handwork, you know, um, or even wearing it for that matter. So I brought Melanie on today because she's walked the talk and fully lives the no fads just food lifestyle with grace towards herself and others in this journey towards better health. So Melanie, we're so glad that you're here. I love that I get to work with you on a weekly basis on sharing this kind of information with people. So I want you to introduce yourself a little bit. I kind of introduced you, but just kind of share with us what brought you here to this health journey. Yeah, sure. So um, I would consider myself when I was younger, I would consider myself a pretty healthy kid. Um, you know, I got colds and I got allergies and that sort of thing, but overall I was a pretty healthy eater, um, you know, for the most part. But one of the things that I did struggle with was skin issues. Um, and, uh, one of the, it, it kind of started when I was in elementary school and, um, I noticed like just these blotches on my hands and I was putting on like Benadryl spray and all this crazy stuff. And, um, and I was just covering my hands with socks and Aquaphor ointment and that, that sort of thing. Um, and it would, you know, temporarily go away for a while. We attributed it to allergies, the weather, you know, anything like that, but I would just kind of like use topical whatever and it would go away. Um, you know, and then, um, and then in middle school, my whole body started breaking out in just this itchy, crazy, like rash thing. 
And I ended up going to the doctor and she attributed it to, it basically boiled down to allergies and nobody knew like if it was from food, nobody knew if it was from fragrance or seasonal allergies or anything as well as uh, anxiety. And so that kind of put me on a cycle like all the way pretty much through my twenties um, of allergy meds and anxiety meds um, just to kind of suppress what was going on with my skin and what was going on with my mental health um, all the way through college. Um, the eczema on my hands just started getting worse and no amount of medicine would help that go away. Um, and I was just kind of trying all these things and, uh, you know, do and eliminate, I eliminated, eventually I eliminated, uh, like artificial fragrances and that sort of thing from my laundry detergent, my shampoo, soap, uh, everything. And, you know, thought I was doing everything right. Um, and it still wasn't going away. So, um, so that was kind of a, that was kind of a big thing though. So, um, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, did you so, have something else to say too? Oh, no. Okay. No, go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm just like in awe of that health story just because I've not gone through something like that with my skin. I mean, I definitely have my own skin issues and like I have stress on my face right now showing fresh face today, but um, it sounds like you kind of had a lot of run-ins with this from the time you were little. So yeah. what was your wake up moment for you and your health then? I mean, you sounded, it sounded like you had a few wake up moments, but like, what was the final straw that you decided you really needed to do something different? Honestly, the last straw was, um, around, around two years ago. Um, I woke up, I had eczema and on stop, like just nonstop. It was, it just wasn't going away. I had been using like hydrocortisone cream, but around two years ago, um, it had gotten really bad and I woke up at like four o'clock in the morning and my ring finger here had swollen to about twice the size. Wow. Um, and I couldn't move it and, um, it was bleeding and it was throbbing so much. I could feel it like in my forearm and I texted, I, I have like a really close relationship with my uh, primary care physician and um, I texted her a picture and I said, doc, I need help. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do. It's nothing is working. And my, I think my skin might've become immune to this hydrocortisone cream. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up driving an hour to her, to my, to her office. Um, she took a look at my hand and she prescribed, I, I believe it was a, like a steroid gel. And I went and picked that up and it was $400. Wow. Yeah. And I didn't know, I didn't know what was in it. I didn't know what it was going to do. I didn't know if it had side effects, but I had to get this $400 freaking dollar medicine to just make my finger stop bleeding and screaming at me <laughs> in a way. And, um, and, you know, I used that, you know, kind of according to her instructions and, and things like that, but it kept coming back. And when it came back, that was a big wake up call. And I thought, okay, my body's becoming immune to this again and I need more help. And so again, once again, I started, you know, cutting out the fragrances and I, I cut out even more stuff than I had before. And, uh, you know, started kind of researching like home remedies and I started using essential oils, mm -hmm. um, and that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, it helped, a little bit and I, but I only got like temporary relief. Um, so, you know, I try, I tried all these different things. Um, and I did that 
I, I had, I mean, I had eczema ravaging my hands on my honeymoon. Like I was trying to go to the beach and I was trying to do all this fun stuff, but I, my hands were just covered and I, and I got like this plant-based stuff from the little corner store and everything. And it was just, it was just a lot. And I knew that I needed to do something. I just didn't know what. So what ended up helping you with your eczema? Cause I'm looking at your hands now and they look like there's never been anything wrong with them at all. Right. Uh, thanks. So, um, so basically one of the things, um, was that like you, well, you introduced me to it. Um, I actually tried this powdered produce. I tried juice plus, um, capsules and I started, you know, trying to get more plants and more fruits and vegetables in my diet that way. In addition to, you know, cooking healthy foods, cause I love to cook. Um, but, uh, later on, you know, I thought a little bit more about it and I thought back to when I was younger, um, and my dad had been introduced to, uh, almond milk by, um, his friend that worked at a health food store. And his friend said, dude, you've got to try this and you got to get your daughter to try it. I was in like fourth grade, probably, um, he said it cleared up my daughter's acne and you know, you've got to try almond milk instead of dairy milk. And while my family and I didn't really stick with that, I remembered trying it for like a month or two. And I remembered it cleared my acne up. I was, you know, going through puberty and stuff like that. And like, I remember that clearing up and I thought, huh, I wonder if I cut out dairy from my diet, what would happen with my hands and lo and behold I so I cut that out and you know just kept taking my capsules consistently um and uh and eating more plant-based food and uh within a few months I looked down at my hands one day I was like petting my dog literally and I looked down at my hands one day and I was like my eczema is gone and I didn't, and I can move. Like there was, like there were these times where I couldn't grip my steering wheel. I couldn't type on my computer. I worked an office job, you know, some for, for a few years and things like that. And uh, there were times when I just couldn't move. And I was like, oh, look at, well, look at that. <laughs> I, can, I can do stuff. Um, so, and I never thought that, 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 that it was that simple that I just needed more fruits and vegetables in my diet and to make this simple change into, and you know, it, it, it can be as simple as capsules because, you know, it's not always easy to, you know, have that in, in my regular diet and have that in my kitchen and in my house, you know, and stuff because life gets busy. Exactly. Um, but you know, I didn't, I didn't know that I could do this without, without medicine, like, you know, and I could just do it with food. Yeah. You know? Food is medicine now. Food is medicine now. And that is that has been my philosophy um, you know, for for the last for the last year or two. Honestly. Yeah. I've seen I've seen such a difference in my, you know, not only in my skin, but also um mental and physical health as well. How long would you say that it took you to notice some of those changes in your skin? Um, after really making a switch in your lifestyle after, after like all the consistency, I would say, I would say probably between four and six months. Yeah. Uh, it, um, you know, it, to, to notice like a real, like big, big, big change. You know, I started, I started noticing like little things, um, you know, like a little bit more energy and a little bit more mental clarity and things like that. Like I started noticing that pretty, pretty quickly, but considering the fact that eczema kind of just ravaged my skin off and on for my whole life, um, you know, it was going to, and it pretty much stuck with me from the ages of 20 to about 24. Um, you know, it was, 
but basically a lot of healing from the inside out using, you know, this, this, yeah, just using this, using these changes. Yeah. Um, well, the- I was going to say that it takes about four months for your body to regenerate new cells. Yes. Um, so like that makes a lot of sense that it took about that time. But yeah. I know that you were also, you recently implemented an omega capsule the plant-based omega and you have some you are like probably one of the biggest fans i know of that my omega <laughs> so what how has that helped in your skin health okay so also well, fun fact i'm not wearing makeup right now like not at all that's amazing you look great mm-hmm. thank you um but one of the things I'm, I'm very fair. And so when I had a lot of inflammation, you could see a lot of redness, like right here. Um, just, I, I had dry skin. I've, you know, I've got these, I've got hormonal, you know, breakouts and things like that going on sometimes. Um, but I'm trying to think of when I did the omega. I cannot remember, maybe in the spring yeah. or somewhere around there. Um, and it, and it, it, again, those aren't like immediate results either. Like it's not this miraculous thing, mm. but I've been actually using it as moisturizer. Like, I love that you showed me that, that like, it's, it's basically what fish oil does, but without the fish and you can put it on your face. Yeah, I don't smell like a fish. Yeah, you don't smell like a fish. You smell like oranges. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but like, um, you know, I started, that's, it's been the only moisturizer that consistently works and doesn't just sit on my face and doesn't just like sit on my skin and do nothing. Um, it, you know, it actively like helps keep my skin moisturized because the, the weather is crazy here. Environmental factors, you know, they they kind of they kind of mess with your skin. You live kind of downtown, don't you? Like close to? Yeah, yeah, roughly. I live in I live in uptown, like uptown Houston. So it's You're it's next all, to all of all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in addition to that, like actually, like taking the capsules. Um, these are my real nails. Wow, those look great too. Thanks. Yeah, I had a habit of uh, of kind of like peeling them, you know, for a really long time. And for a while, um, I put I I had tips put on and everything, so I could get like get out of that habit. And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna see what these omegas really do. And over the last few months, I've noticed that my nails grow super fast and like this is actually how long and actually how thick my hair is. Like my hair goes faster than I can keep up with it. Yeah, mine too. It, but, but I guess the best thing is that a lot of people, you know, when I take, when I take a picture, um, you know, with friends or when I take a picture with my husband or whatever, um, or I'm, or I'm just at work, people will tell me like, Melanie, your skin's glowing. What are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, well, actually, <laughs> Um, and so it's just really, it's just been really cool, um, to try, to try this new thing and it actually, you know, be like the the best thing for my skin. And it's also been, you know, kind of an added, an added bonus for, (laughs) for my hand. Yeah, I bet. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to combine these two last questions because I feel like people can benefit from this. Um, so summer is happening right now, which is why we're bare faced. I've got a fake beach scene behind me. Um, (laughs) but why would you tell somebody who's looking to make skin changes, especially in the summertime, because this is the time where, you know, it can be really hot and wearing a lot of makeup as you can, as I can imagine you dealing with in Houston, Texas, how do you go about those kind of obstacles because I feel like you're in a perfect place to have this experience um and answering this question of just like what how do I keep my skin nice in the hot hot weather with what you're doing so yeah any research any tips you got for us um yeah well try the omegas (laughs) for one thing um and I try to use um I try to use a sunscreen 
um, whether I'm wearing makeup or not during the day. Um, and I try to pick like the natural ones and, and everything. I, I'm pretty sure there's a ton of recipes on Pinterest. You can actually make your own um, using oils and things like that. Um, but in terms of, you know, with the environmental factors, not just like, not just sunburn, but in terms of, in terms of like inflammation and that sort of thing, um, you definitely, I, I definitely believe in kind of pre preventing that from the inside out. And, um, in the summer, one of the things that I feel it, like literally the only thing actually that I feel like eating is like fruit, just raw fruit and vegetables and things like that. And, um, and I believe that, you know, increasing those kind of can reduce inflammation, um, and, just, you know, kind of adjusting to a plant-based diet, um, you know, especially in the summer and getting into that habit can kind of keep your skin in, in better shape. Um, you know, just kind of, just kind of watching it. So, and you're not completely plant-based, are you? You're just, most of the time you're plant-based. Yeah, most of the time I'm plant-based. I am dairy-free, um, but, but I just prefer, I found, I found myself kind of preferring to eat a plant-based diet because I feel like when I, um, the times when I do consume, you know, I come from a family of butchers and um, and Cajuns and my husband loves burgers and chicken and things like that. And I find that when I do eat um, animal, animal protein, I don't feel good. And um, my, my digestion is, is, you know, as good as it can be when I'm taking my juice plus, but I feel like I have to double up on it, you know, whenever I, whenever I eat that, because I just feel really bloated and gross. And then I also noticed that, you know, sometimes my hands break out and sometimes I, sometimes I get acne and stuff because that is, uh, inflammatory food. Um, and, uh, so I've been kind of reducing that lately and, um, and I have noticed that's, that's another thing I have noticed a change in my skin since then. Wow. Yeah. Simple though. It sounds very simple. Yeah, it really, it really is. And after, after all these medications that I've tried and all these topical things and, and pills and things like that, that I've tried, I just didn't know that it was this easy wow. you know, to feel, to feel okay again, to feel better and be able to function, you know? Yeah, that's all. That's really what it's about is just feeling better, just like living your fullest life. You know, like I feel like that's what we're called to be. Doesn't yeah. matter what faith background you're from, like, why wouldn't you want to have a fuller, better life, a healthier life that you can enjoy stuff with? And I feel like we've covered a lot. I don't know how much else I could cover on skin health. I know that there's a lot of stuff out there in regards to skin health. You know, I'm what I'm talking about. There's all those creams, all these different brands of different things that can be helpful, you know? So it's just really just a, an act of mindfulness that we should be practicing within our own preventative health care. Being our own health advocate is most important in that way. So I know that I've noticed a huge change in my skin. Like I said, I have stress on my face right now. But most of the time, like when I put, even when I just put makeup on, my, my makeup goes on smoother. My makeup looks better. Like it feels more part of my face rather than a caked on gross, I don't know, mess. Yeah, um, it's more yeah, it's definitely like the complexion of my complexion is more even um, yeah. just by doing those simple changes. So this has been awesome. I wanted to let our audience know that if they have any questions, any comments, please get with the person that invited them to look at this video later on. Um, we'd love to chat with you. And if you're looking for more healthy inspiration and or you need simple solutions for your own family, we have a, we have a community of Facebook people called Lighthouse Living for continual living example of how we have learned to eat more plants, drink more water, and have a little bit more. And a little bit of a secret, I'm actually going to be forming a group where you can interact more so with me and the people that I work with. Um, I don't know what that's going to be called. I'm doing lots of developments with my website and 
all the social things. So expect something at the end of the summer, hopefully. Um, and if you want to follow along with Melanie and I, you can follow her on Instagram or Facebook. On Instagram, you can find her. It's Hey Melanie. It's M-E-L-A-N-I with four E's after that I. And then it's, you can follow me at That Vegan Wife. Make sure to follow along with us on our Instagram stories and whatever else we post all over social media. And thanks for joining. And I hope that everyone has a great week. So be well.